Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Dwyer in here. Uh, once again it's Friday and that means it is basics day. Unfortunately I don't really have a game for you uh, just yet. That'll be coming in the next couple of days. Reason for that being is I had originally planned on doing some games on uh, OGS and um, a double digit Q game on Taijen. See which one uh, of those games is better and upload it today. Uh, unfortunately, as many of you know, the OGS change to the rating system put our good old Sandy Baggins, who was at 7Q, up to 1Q now. So it's not quite the uh, rank I was going for, so we're going to go ahead and push that uh, back a little bit and then see where we are in the next couple of days when I figure out what I want to do with that account. Am I going to keep rating it up? Am I going to abandon it? Am I going to rename it? Am I going to create a new one? I don't know. So until then, I thought I'd take the time and opportunity to address some of the criticism that I've been getting uh, on the basic series, specifically my last video. Now, before I address some of the criticism, I do want to harken back to the beginning of the basic series and reiterate a couple of points as to why the basic uh, series is a thing. One of the key points is that I pointed out in video one that it was really, really important, I thought, since everyone keeps going on about, you know, to get stronger, you need to focus on improving your basics. I thought it would be a great series to have it condensed, figure out what the basics are, uh, some nice easy ways to work on them, that sort of deal. I also pointed out in that series, there were some people who believed this. People tend to wind up coming around with uh, these very interesting questions like they see your lessons okay great take your lessons okay great they see you playing and recording your games talking about your games okay great but there are a few people out there who still say you know there's something you're doing that you're not telling us which is preventing me from getting better see I said it I know I said it because the video was uploaded and we all just watched me say it so believe it or not, there are people who think that despite, you know, all the things you do, uh, there are things that you are kind of like not, not telling people what you are really doing. And I thought it would be great to just like have a series, you see exactly what I'm doing, you see the exact reasons why I'm doing it, and how important it is to do those things. So, created a series that was nicely transparent, uh, so transparent in fact that we gave ourselves rules to follow, so you know what I'm going to be looking for in everything I'm, I'm uh, playing, even if I don't come out and say it or forget to mention a specific move. You know, there are rules that we're following. We are not doing, typically, unless we get to hide on, uh, well, load on, I guess. Uh, we're not bothering with uh, Fuseki in the sense that uh, we're not going to try and just kind of like out trick our opponent by putting up some kind of like Chinese Fuseki and maybe see if we can get them to play how they're not supposed to so we can like get a cool lead because awesome strategy not doing anything like that keeping it nice and simple we're not trying to play like a chiseki that maybe they know maybe they don't know we're just playing like almost the very most basic chiseki you can ever come across so we uh, don't do any kind of trickery there we're kind of like making the game easier in the sense to see like when we strip away the strategy uh, like the deep strategy uh, that you might have with like playing a Sanrin, say, or playing uh, the Kobayashi or the Chinese or something, or you strip away like all your favorite Chiseki, they might have cool little neat little tricks that some people might be a little bit wishy-washy on. Like when you strip all of those away, what is your opening like? Is your opening still strong? Are you still able to see where the where your uh, large move on the board is? Do you know how important it is to take that? Uh, that kind of thing or are you getting into fights too early and missing some of those large points like what's going on there which brings us to point number two uh, early on we don't do any fighting just to make certain that's not a crutch that we're leaning on we don't have to fight and we don't have to try to kill things in order to get a nice solid level that our fundamentals are strong enough that yeah we don't, we don't have to fight we don't have to kill we can just keep keep making you know the large points do some invasions when necessary make sure we got our shape we're good to go we're we're, we're gonna be solid we're not gonna suddenly be outclassed because oh my god i'm not killing something i don't know where i'm gonna go with this which also brings me to another very good point because there is another game 
uh, I played recently, which inspired this, which you can see on your screen right now. And in this game, it sums up the importance behind playing these basics. Because I had an opportunity in this game, uh, as you can see here, to take a nice easy win by taking the nice easy large points. Uh, I was playing against a, another mid-level Don, uh, 5 Don on Foxy, but I went for the kill. I went for his throat and I was left with almost next to nothing and that really really hurt my game. That was the biggest mistake ever. Taking a nice easy game, throwing it in the garbage because we just had to feel like we needed to fight things for no freaking reason really. I want to make sure that you guys don't fall into the same traps that I've been doing. Which brings us happily to the criticism. Uh, as you can see on your screen, there's a comment by K.M. Uh, it says, Dear Dwyer and Sir, it is my opinion that these so-called artificial restrictions, namely no killing, no attacking, not even taking the obvious group of dead stones, are lacking in educational value. That's point number one. It is true that we need to know basics, uh, basics, corner sides, extensions, good shapes. Glad you agree. On the other hand, attacking your opponent and upgrading their base is also part of the basics. Killing, although should be part, well, last thing on the player's mind, is also part of the basics. Again, you're right. It should be the last thing on your opponent's mind. In other words, if you're ahead territorially, if you've got a good position on the board, just make yourself safe. You don't have to try to kill. So I'm, I, I'm agreeing with you, and I think you're agreeing with me, so I'm not sure what exactly you're com what uh, the problem is. Um, if we're up, if we're ahead, it's not on us. As you just pointed out, it's the last thing on the player's mind. It's not on us to try to fight and get further and further ahead. It's on us to protect our lead, and it's on our opponent to see if he can get us to fight him because he needs a fight to try to come back into the game, right? So in the basic series, we teach you how to get ahead, we teach you how to uh, get good shape and stay ahead, and not go into the pitfall of falling for one of your opponent's traps and getting into the fight that they need in order to come back into the game. So I, I think we're kind of on the same page there. Um, First, I find your back to basics videos lacking in the sense that you do a lot of reading that you are not sharing on the videos. Get to that in a minute. Um, seeing you agonizing over obvious things regardless of attacking severely uh, or killing is not, in, not instructional. I'm in minority's opinion. I will repeat, they are not instructional. If I may also say, playing poorly, attacking, uh, killing is also part of showing respect for your opponent. Your opponent deserves that respect from you. Okay, get to that point in a moment. May I recommend verbally sharing uh, some of your thinking during your videos? Uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, need to attack severely. Need to attack severely according to and share your thoughts with us. If you can kill, then kill. Um. All techniques and tact. Okay, so this is where we're splitting. All those tactics and techniques are basics. Um, let's see. My uh, not intentional to do a flame. Just sharing your thoughts. Uh, most I enjoy most of your, uh, other instructional videos. Appreciate your time reading my comment. All right. So I, I think we're kind of on the same page, sort of, but we're kind of splitting. Um, let's uh, take some of those comments that you or some of those points and break them down a bit. Uh, first, you say you don't find them to be very educational or instructional. Well, these people would disagree with you. They are finding the series very educational, apparently. They are finding the series very instructional. So there's only a couple of different possibilities here. One, they're lying. Um, seems... I mean, I, I don't think I'm that popular, the people like that, that's many people would just like lie about that just to make me feel better. Um, it's possible though, I guess. Um, two, they're honestly mistaken, they're improving, and they're mistaken as to how they're improving. But this is a pretty, this is a pretty radical change in their play if they're following basics to improve. So it seems that they would be, it seems unlikely they're unaware that they think they're following the basics, but they're not following the basics and they're improving. 
That seems a little bit of a stretch too. Or third option, uh, they the videos are actually helping and they are improving. I think for simplicity's sake, the most obvious answer is the people who say this is helping are actually being helped. So it seems to be educational uh, and instructional for a number of people. So the question then becomes, why isn't it educational or instructional for you? Uh, there are a lot of different reasons. I, I don't I don't think I know who you are, Cam Karas. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. And YouTube's different. I mean, you, can, you can't really tell like who a person is uh, on YouTube. Maybe I've played you before, maybe I haven't, I'm not sure. Different IDs and all that. Um, different people learn different ways. Like if you could take number of students, you could throw them all in a, a lab type setting where they're all in a group and learning something, and they'll soak up that information easily, right? You could take the same group of people, put them behind a textbook by themselves, and it might just go in one ear out the other. They need the group hands-on setting. So uh, one example that people just learn differently. So the question is, maybe this isn't the way for you to learn. That That's entirely possible. Maybe this approach, this style, um, this medium, whatever, maybe that's just not meshing well uh, with how you personally learn. And uh, those who also learn like you, I mean, that's certainly possible. It's also possible that because you believe attacking and killing are basics, that you're deviating from the basics and you're not really seeing if it can help you or not. It's also possible that, like, I don't know what your, uh, did you mention your rank? Your thought a single digit Q. Um, it's possible you've got excellent direction of play, you've got excellent shape, and that's just not where you're weak. So maybe that's not geared towards your specific weaknesses, and that's certainly possible. Though I think I would I would say at this point I've done enough games over uh, a bunch of different uh, ranks that it yeah it's possible that that's true. But I think if you're single digit Q, you probably do still need to work on your direction and your shape. Especially if you're then going on and saying that you think attacking and killing uh, is basic. I would say there's probably a level of aggression in your play that maybe shouldn't be there or is misdirected. Maybe you're fighting over not the right thing if you insist on trying to fight and kill. Maybe your shape isn't quite there yet if you're trying to fight and kill. It's really hard to say you know, what might be going wrong in your play without of course seeing your games. So if we can agree now that they are instructional, because again, uh, some people have said they were, uh, and it is helping people because again, I, it's not me the one that's saying it. I admit when I first created this series, I wasn't entirely certain if this was really gonna uh, be helpful, but I thought it was probably helpful for where I was in my game. So I was gonna see if it was helpful for other people to practice the same things. But if we can agree they are instructional and they are helpful to people, then we can move on from that and tackle your next point, which is saying that this is disrespectful to your opponent, and my opponent deserves the respect of being slaughtered. And I'm going to kind of disagree with that too. I remember when I took martial arts, um, I did not walk in there and have my instructor break my arms and legs. So that's not how I was taught. Uh, it, start, it usually starts off slow, one thing at a time, one concept at a time, not everything at once. That's, that's pretty much what we're doing here. I mean, we're working on one aspect of our game. And I don't see it particularly disrespectful if we aren't playing dishonest moves, because we are playing honest moves, right? We're not setting traps, we're not doing trick plays. Um, we're just taking the largest points and if our opponent takes the largest points in the game as well it's going to be pretty even if our opponent's trying to fight over tiny things when there are bigger things on the board I could potentially slaughter that but then what would that really teach? I mean that would be teaching them they can get slaughtered and not they should be going after the larger points, right? So I'd be teaching them to work on their life and death. 
and not work on the larger parts of their opening or uh, the larger parts of what they should be fighting for. So I would kind of be teaching the wrong point, right? And I think that to me would be more disrespectful if I would just slaughter them over something small because then they'd have absolutely no idea why they lost. Whereas if you can see that your opponent is taking larger points on the board, you've got a pretty good idea, like, okay, that had to have been a small move. I played this, and then he took all that. That that that, that, didn't, that didn't go well, right? So I'm going to go ahead and dis, uh, completely disagree. That That's disrespectful. I think if I were to follow your advice and attack and kill them over every little thing, that would be disrespectful. And if I taught my students that way, they would never improve. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not liking that one too much either. Uh, it's kind of like I remember taking lessons with um, I won't name drop, but a number of professionals. Not a lot, but I've taken a small number of lessons with a few different professionals. They could absolutely slaughter me, right? Because they're freaking professionals. I absolutely did things where you know they could have they could have killed me, but they didn't. They were, they were able to show like, okay, I did this. That 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 really wasn't too smart. They just did the other thing, and then what what was I going to do after that? You know. So, I I feel I'm right about that one. Uh, you disagree, obviously, but I feel I'm right about that one. And if, if you still don't, if you still don't disagree if you still don't agree with me, uh, then I guess we're just going to have to agree to disagree on that point. Uh, but that's how I strongly feel. I really do want to come back to the point though where you say that you recommend that I share more of my thinking during my videos because that right there is a really huge point. And I disagree with that one completely as well because I am sharing exactly what I'm thinking except for the specific ways I could have been more aggressive and tried to kill that I share uh, at the end of the video usually uh, during the review. That, that's when I usually share some of the, uh, like, well, you know, I could have tried to do this, uh, but I didn't because, you know, that's messy, that's complicated, I'm kind of, I'm ahead usually, or I'm in a good position, there's no reason to follow things up by getting into really complicated variations where anything goes, right? And the idea that, aside from attacking and killing, there are reasons that I pick the moves that I pick that I'm not telling you that that's actually completely false as well. Like sometimes, and I felt bad for saying this during the video sometimes, because I think it's so stupidly obvious that it almost feels insulting to point out in some ways. But when I go for a larger area, or when I'm interested in an area, I, I sometimes even do a side-by-side -side comparison as to like how many lines one area is compared to how many lines another area is. Uh, and recently I've even been modifying it with the status of groups. Like this is, let's say this is worth eight lines, this is worth ten lines. Ten lines of territory might be the larger area, but if this is eight lines and we're weak, then that has a modifier that makes this now the larger area, not the ten lines. Or this has like eight lines, but my opponent's got a weak group there, so it might turn into more that's now the modifier when we start getting into the attacking series and that's now the larger area so I'm, I'm i feel like i'm really upfront with why i say where i'm going to play it i'm not i'm not hiding anything from you so i want to be absolutely clear about that i mean it's it's so tempting to say like there are other complicated things going on that we just don't understand because from a from a 30q on up, like when you first start learning the game, you're programmed to think that way. That Go is like really, really complicated. It's so crazy. You start hearing things like, oh, you know, AlphaGo is, you know, got such and such many CPUs and all these GPUs, and that's what it takes to like get to this level. And it does like billions of calculations a minute, and that's what it takes to like get to this level. And by the time you're 10Q, you think you're supposed to be reading out like 10 moves ahead in perfect in perfect um, 
clarity and know what you're going to respond to to those 10 moves and mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. you can read one or two really really clear then you're doing pretty good to down level usually that's that's actually an amazing skill to have to know if i play here my opponent's probably going to play here because if they doesn't i can do this or i'm going to play here because my opponent doesn't play there that clearly that that's clearly a thing so i'm gonna i can do this and i try to keep things that simple nothing really hidden if there are complicated things there i remove those selections and i usually tell you at the end of the video and i look for something a bit more simple so i, I disagree completely that uh there are things that i'm not sharing as to the reasons why i'm picking the moves that i pick so, so I hope you can see what I mean by that now. Uh, so you and others who have also commented uh, along that vein, uh, Louis Sosa, for example, um, here also mentioned, uh, quote, I truly believe you're not doing a favor by neglecting basic reading like you did in this video. Uh, again, uh, kind of the same thing. Um, I will go further. I will expand on that a little bit more. Sometimes I don't take the kill because I think it's actually too small. Like if I can kill 15, if I can kill like a group that's worth an extra 15 points, but there's still like 20 or 30 point that I can take somewhere else. I mean, that that's pretty that's pretty good. If I kill it and take the points from that, but then they take the larger move, I'm still a little bit behind in that. Now I need to use my sente to make up for the fact that I just killed something that I maybe shouldn't have. So that, that can be a thing. Also, it's because I've actually asked some people across a couple of different ranks you know, um, where where would you play here? And I give them an example of like from one of the games that I played that people have said are really, really basic. And I've had some five cues, missed some things that everyone else said was like really, really basic. And I should have completely played it, but you know, they, they missed it. So maybe it's not quite as basic, or maybe it's only really, really basic when you see and I point out and I say, this exists on the board you like you you see instinctively oh yeah that totally exists that would totally work yeah i totally agree with you but you know once you're behind the board playing yourself maybe uh you'd miss something like that and rather than get into conversations every game like uh yeah this is basic and you should be able to read this or this isn't or this this isn't or you should read this if you're like one q and this if you're five q and this is for 10 q I mean, I, I'd like just cutting all of that out and be like, all right, whatever you, whatever your rank is, doesn't matter. Like you can work on your life and death, um, on your own time. Essentially, there are many different websites for that. You can work and train your life and death, so you can or cannot read the things that we're doing uh, until you do. Uh, but in the end time, we could just scrub them from our play, take the basics to an extreme level, and see if they still hold up under the most intense scrutiny. And so far they have been, which is great for the most part. Uh, and that's, that's great, I like it. I like that, they, that they're that solid and that reliable, and it seems to be helping a lot of people. But of course, I'm interested in what you have to say as well. Um, if you still disagree, you can feel free to disagree and comment down below. I'll take a look at that and see if I can address some of your points. Uh, maybe we're always just going to agree to disagree on this. Maybe uh, you can convince me, maybe I've convinced you. Either way, I hope you guys have all been enjoying the series. Hope you have a bit more explanation now as to why things are the way they are. I wish you all good luck in your games, and as always, I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.